India has issued a no time warning for the period from 7th to 10th November for a designated area of 475 kilometers that could be the test of the extended range Brahmos air launched missile from Su-30 aircraft. Andaman and Nicobar Command is conducting a joint special forces training camp for enhancing the inter-force collaboration. Indian Army chief has said that India is establishing defense wings in new locations around the world and that the army is keen to enhance the scope and scale of joint military training and exercises with friendly foreign partners. The Royal Air Force has made a remarkable return to Hyderabad airport for refueling, marking the second visit to Hyderabad this year, further solidifying the amicable relationship between the UK and India. South Korean Defense Research Agency has recommended reducing in the initial production units of the KF-21 by half. And this decision stems from concerns regarding price competitiveness and project uncertainties associated with the KF-21 program. Germany might exit from the Franco-German 6th generation fighter jet project, and will join the rival Tempest program led by United Kingdom. If a pact materializes between the UK and Germany, France will have to start looking for a new partner. Mauritius has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with ISRO, to design develop launch and operate unearth observation satellite for Mauritius. The RDO chairman has said, the organization is strengthening processes to ensure timely completion of defense research projects, considering that 23 of 55 mission mode projects were running behind schedule. Safran has said that the DRDO Safran 110 kN engine will be ready for flight trials by 2029, and its significance extends beyond the AMCA Mark II, as the engine is also earmarked for deployment in the TEDBF and AMCA Mark I fighter jets in later phase. One of the standout features of the DRDO Safran engine is its dimensional compatibility with the existing American F-414 engines, that will ensure that the transition to the new engine will not necessitate significant modifications to the air intakes and rear fuselage of both the AMCA Mark I and Ted BF platforms, and this commonality will streamline the integration process and reduce potential design complexities. The Director General of Russia's United Shipbuilding Corporation has said that two advanced Tulwar class stealth frigates are now expected to be delivered to the Indian Navy by May 2024 and October 2024, which was originally expected by December 2022 and July 2023. Goa Shipyard is also building two advanced Tulwar class stealth frigates that will be delivered by 2026 and 2027. This procurement will mark the conclusion of an era, signifying the last warship that the Indian Navy will acquire from Russia. According to media reports, India had not planned an outright purchase of American nuclear attack submarines, but it aimed to secure assistance from the United States in advancing its own indigenous SSN program, but unfortunately, India's endeavors to access American submarine technology have hit a roadblock. India was hopeful of securing a partial transfer of the advanced technology offered to Australia under AUKUS Alliance, but this prospect has been firmly denied, and the United States has chosen not to extend such technology sharing to India, after which Indian and French officials have initiated discussions to explore the possibility of acquiring next-generation propulsion technology for Indian nuclear attack submarine program. Private sector companies will hold a substantial stake in the newly formed Special Purpose Vehicle for the production of Indian multi-role helicopter and deck-based multi-role helicopter, and officials have said that this venture is expected to secure an order for 400 units, ensuring the sustained operation of production lines from 2031 to 2045. Hindustan Aeronautics has started code development of a cutting-edge engine for the helicopter with Safran this month, that will be manufactured in a facility near Bangalore. Today's Top 3 Comments